I would like to know how you address your material libraries and asset. Do you keep them locally or in a cloud or in a separate hard drive? That's a great question. I actually keep mine on a separate hard drive just in case, you know, if my main hard drive goes down, I at least still have my, my materials or something, you know, separate. What I've also done as far as building like a library, I just use the Blender standard asset library. It, it still works. You know, I build out my Octane materials and then I have like a couple of main files that I use. For example, this file here for my, my members in my community and all I've done is just put everything in the same standard blender asset library but it's just octane materials once you build your first one it's very easy I've got other assets like for example anytime I convert a quixel bridge material into an octane material I'll save that so later on and I'm I'll save that in one blender file and it's called quixel octane assets and like here's my assets anything that i've converted from a quixel bridge i've saved into another blender asset so i'm building my own library i'm not putting it on a cloud because that allows me to access it anywhere when i'm like as far as my hard drive i just bring my hard drive plug it in my laptop i can still access that like if you're traveling you're on a plane you have no internet access now you have no access to your materials keeping them on a, a little a portable hard drive will be kind of nice or even just on your desktop hard drive so that's how i do it